Fingers are crossed at Harmony Grove schools in high school. As the city grows, so does the district. At this point, the superintendent is looking where to put students because they are simply running out of space. Teach 11's Jordan Howington takes us there where students and staff say gaining more space is in the hands of voters something that is desperate. James McCormick, a senior at Harmony Grove High, not quite old enough to vote, but pleading to voters. And I think if the community can come to realize that, it's a, something that needs to be changed. About 600 junior high and high school students come through this cafeteria on a daily basis. Well, the problem is it's a 3,000 square foot facility that only holds 175 students per lunch. I know a lot of kids, you know, walked out and they're all sitting in the halls, you know, eating their lunches in their laps. We were blessed to um, get facilities funding and partnership money from the state to go towards our new cafeteria. One problem solved, but the school's classrooms are also bursting at the seams, and that's where the millage increase would help build a new high school facility, additional classrooms, labs, and general learning space. The millage failed in September by 16 votes, sending the school board back to the drawing board. It's huge in the fact that we're trying to figure out where to put all our students at. In September, the district went for 3.8 mills. Now they're looking to get 2.8 mills, saving taxpayers some money but still build the same structure. Because of lowered interest rates and us being able to combine some of our debt, it was able to actually lower what we're having to go to the patrons with. Along with the new proposed millage increase comes further security measures in the schools. So we're going to be um, adding the safety doors that the millage does pass. For students like McCormick, he believes the overall investment comes down to academic success. The ability to be in a nicer Building in a nicer facility is really just challenge kids to step up. There's rewards that come with, with excelling academically. Early voting started today at the Benton Voting Center. That goes through Friday from 8.30 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. January 14th is Election Day where people can vote for or against the millage increase at the fire department from 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m.